I got the universe within my uterus. Don't need you to get the fact that I'm birthing planets and raising sons like fatherless children, but I ain't kidding. Now, brother, I ain't fibbing. My riddles make you wish you never saw them. Truth will hit you like the Oedipus Rex. API text. If I lose, I birth the legend that will get up and flex with the weight of the world on his neck. AP, give me my respect for that line above it all. Please don't drown in this alkaline. Free your mind and spiritual. You understand I baptize. Don't downsize. I'm five four, but don't downsize. My spirit sky high. Drop it out from the skyline. Suicide if your sky die without a parachute. Copy me like a parakeet. My paragraphs and spelling is amazing, this wizardry. I speak it in existence and I say I won't fuck with me. Law of attraction. Speak the positive in action, then I watch it happen. They get to snapping, breaking atoms with my bare palms. I dismantle bombs, my molecules consist of napalm. Flame on, any weak mind, I throw the flame on. Ignites your brain cells, my intellect, the bomb, I'm always blowing minds. Get a mind, don't cross my energy, I promise I'm landmine. Homie, I'm too fine, like ugly women at the sip of your wine. The truth is ugly. Yo, my name is Frequency, that's F-R-E-A-K-Q-U-E-N-C-E-E -E -E on all social media platforms, and you are watching Raw Art TV. Bow. Raw Art TV. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Mars Mercury, here with Raw Art TV. Today, I got a dope creative sitting next to me. She gonna introduce herself. Uh -huh. We gonna get to know her, see what she's about. It's about to be lit. I'm simple, I'm simple, what's up? My name is Frequency, that's F-R-E-A-K-Q-U-E-N-C-E-E -E -E. Freak like you nasty, Q-U-E-N-C-E-E -E -E. On all social media platforms Ow! Alright, so Frequency, normally I ask a question um, <laughs> What's the source that make you gifted? So tell the people, that's really my version of asking like what you do What you, mm -hmm. like what's that source inside the view that you um, deem you know, I used to limit myself to just being an MC, mm -hmm. you know, but like I'm trying to step out of the box, I'm trying to step out of limitations, so I just say that, you know, I'm a creative, I'm an artist, but that includes MCing, that includes uh, curating, that includes uh, songwriting, poetry, which is like really like all the same to me, and you know, whatever else, like, wherever else my soul takes me. Mm -hmm. you know, like, That's what's up. Yeah. So how did you get the name Frequency? Um, I used to go by the name Freak or whatever, mm -hmm. but I wasn't satisfied with that. You know, I felt like I was really like misunderstood as an artist. This is back when I was in high school, you know, I'm 25 now. Mm -hmm. Um, I was really misunderstood as an artist. I used to be like this really complex artist, so you know, I used to go by Freak, but Freak was like, because I'm nasty on instrumentals or whatever. Mm -hmm. So like one day, you know, after school, I used to chill out with my uh, my history teacher at the school, so I went to a classroom, I met this really, really awesome poet, I don't even remember her name, mm -hmm. and like, we were just like discussing my name, and like, what I do as an artist, and you know, I told her my name was Freak, but I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about changing it, and she was like, um, you know, why, I like it, so I explained to her, you know, why I was thinking about changing my name, and she was like, you know, um, I think you should keep it, and she was like, you know, Frequency. So I was like, ah, oh, I like that, mm -hmm. you know, and I asked her why, and she was like, well, frequency, because you was explaining to me how people don't really understand, you know, the way you vibrate and move as an mm -hmm. artist, and, you know, the doctors still don't really understand the way frequency, energy, vibrates throughout the eardrum, and that's just like you, mm -hmm. and, like, the name stuck. You know, ever since. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. It, it it's like so you, you your own, you your own, you your own frequency, you your own vibe, Fact. which is like all of us really. That's fire. Yeah. I like that story. Yeah. That's fire. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell yeah. me, how did you discover yourself as an artist? Um, as a poet, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I started writing raps and poetry in like eighth grade. I started off as poetry. Did something corny for this girl. I never show her. Mm -hmm. Um. From there, like, I took a little break. I, I guess it was, like, really, like, trying to formate music and try to figure out what that is, mm -hmm. how to write bars, you know, how to write a verse, how many bars are in a verse, and things of that sort. And then, like, I picked it back up in, like, high school, um, 11th grade. Uh, my bro, Nova Prime, he really inspired me. He was, like, this phenomenal, quiet kid. You wouldn't know he had the heat on his phone. Mm -hmm. he, just straight bars, really awesome, phenomenal artists and whatnot. And like, you know, I just took after him and like all of the people I had around me to, to help me, you know, become me and stay on the right path or whatever. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it really, really started like around 11, 12th grade. Did I answer your question? I did that's for y'all. Nah, you, you answered it. You <laughs> answered it. You answered it. So being from, you from New York? I'm from Jersey. Newark. 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 Yeah. Jersey. I said like, 
Pull up, pull the end. Nork. 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 It's <laughs> Nork. Okay. Being from North Jersey, New Jersey, mm. how has that like influenced you as an artist and like your music in general? Um, well, the scene in Jersey coming up, it wasn't like we never really had like a solid scene for music. So mm-hmm. like I didn't really know like what where to go or anything like that or like where to record or like just where to express myself and perform. So I used to do like a lot of like lounge like performances. Nothing was like they really gave me like uh, the time or mm-hmm. attention that I really felt I deserved as an artist mm-hmm. and whatnot. And um, people used to tell me all the time, like, yo, go over to New York, like, start over in New York, go, go, go. But my excuse was, yo, I, I don't know how to navigate around New York, so nah. Um, so yeah, I met this chick named Fun on uh, Instagram, I love you, Fun, or her name is Fun. Shout out to oh, Fun. Word up, word up. And like, uh, I went to like this rooftop joint event she had, and like, um, I don't know what started there. I met a lot of creatives, and from there, like, you know, I went, I started going to her events. From her events, I branched out to other events, uh, Mr. Proof City events as mm-hmm. well. At Mr. Proof City, on uh, uh, Instagram, shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Word, word. Um, and yeah, like, just from there, like, just being connected to so many artists just helped me get my foot in the door, mm-hmm. you know. And, um, just started to sprout, man, grow. I feel you. So being a female in like this male dominated like um, environment, like mm-hmm. how do you like male dominated genre? Genre, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Things. So how do you like deal with it? Like how how is that? I make sure that my respect is established from the door. Mm-hmm. Um, it's something that I tell any like female artists or just woman in general because like being a woman I realized one thing like you know we're always looked at a certain way even from a simple greeting as a woman you know males or anyone just naturally feel that they should be you know more sensitive with you from the moment they approach you instead of a handshake Mm -hmm. they want to hug instead of calling you by your name it's sweetheart it's ma it's baby it's it's something other than the sort so like I just established right then and there that my name is my name, and I am who I am. Mm-hmm. Respect me is that, and if not, you know, I correct people. And like, um, just as a, a a woman who raps in general, you know, I have this way with my words and my artistry where I come across aggressive and gritty, but sensitive too. So it's like, you know, I just make sure when I walk through the door, you know, that respect is there, so people know, you know, how how I like to be addressed mm-hmm. and um, general. So. I know like as women we have to like fight for our power all the time but if we have to do that to get that respect then like I think that's necessary. Mm-hmm. You be killing it though. Have like <laughs> at any point were you ever like nervous at all? Yo, I don't get me, that I'm from I'm always you. nervous. For real? Nobody knows that. But I used to do drama so like I learned how to like utilize that nervous energy and mm-hmm. like turn it into like performance energy. Mm-hmm. So like you'll never really tell like if I'm shaking you know what I'm saying? You won't tell it's from like the anxiety that I'm getting. Oh. <laughs> you won't tell that it's like um the anxiety that I'm getting. Uh you would think it's just that natural raw energy when really I'm probably nervous as fuck. I'm probably scared as fuck. I get it every time I reach a new opportunity, each and every time I perform in front of a new crowd. Mm-hmm. You know, and like sometimes that adrenaline rush too, it feels word. good. Like it, it do, like after it's like it's so draining, you know? Like after like I like exert that energy, it's like, oh fuck. Like you know, like I, I feel like weak afterwards, you mm-hmm. know, but um yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> so, like, how is your creation process, like, when you write songs? Like, how long do you do it, like, normally takes you to, like, write a song? It depends, man. It could be anywhere from 30 minutes mm-hmm. to, like, days or months. Mm-hmm. It really just depends, like, the type of feeling I'm trying to put in that song and, like, the type of inspiration I'm in. You know, I usually create in my room. But, like, um, I don't really like to because, you know, it's just four walls yeah. and, like, window, light, whatever. So, yeah, like, creativity sure. needs room. You need room to, like, branch out or whatever. So, um, mm-hmm. I try to create whatever, but it usually takes me anywhere from 30 minutes to months. That's what's up. Yeah. That's wild. Wow. Uh, 
So, do you have like any? You always going out performing and things like that. How do you juggle all of like the performances, even like the bookings for, uh, well, yeah, performances shows and like photo shoots and just like, cause you always, I feel like you always are doing something that is getting you closer to where you need to be as far as like musically, you know, mm -hmm. and just like creative in general. So, like, how do you, I guess, stay consistent and how do you like juggle it all? Um, I try to organize everything as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If you go in my room, I have this huge ass calendar, and like, um, you know, shows really help me with bookings. You know, I see other people; they like the way I perform. They want to book me for their next joint mm -hmm. or whatever. If I feel like it's good business, you know, I'll head over towards that because, mm -hmm. like, I'm in more so of a business, I, uh, a business mindset as opposed to just like doing any and every show right now. So like, right. I um. I pick things strategically and like I'm also a full-time artist as well so like I have the time to like dedicate to photo shoots mm. and like collaborations and like doing shows and my girlfriend is also a big help mm -hmm. you know like she drives me <laughs> yeah, yeah shout out to my girl she's a phenomenal artist too man by Mads on uh, Instagram B-Y-M-A-D-D-Z like check her out um, Wait, are y'all gonna create some music together? Oh, we have some tracks together. We just oh, gotta get really? those tracks recorded. Oh, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. So look out, look out for those, man. I like, can't wait. That's what's up. So, like, up. what is your um, ultimate goal with like music? Um, I want to show people through music that it's okay to be themselves. Mm -hmm. It's okay to express emotions. It's okay to feel because throughout my music. I tell my entire life story and I want people to see throughout my life story that they can be open, that we do share some of the same stories, we do share a lot of the same pain and it's mm -hmm. okay to like release that and show the world what you're going through, like it's okay to be vulnerable, right. you know what I'm saying, so like um, that's one thing, you know, mm -hmm. to take away from my music. That's what's up. Alright, in, in, in this song you have good vibes, you started off by saying Oh, um, in your I'm eyes, trash. you're already a legend. So tell the people, like, <laughs> yeah, like, why is that just, like, like I told you, you don't seem nervous, you hella confident, and that's, that's hella dope, you feel me? So, like, mm -hmm. tell them, like, why is it important to have, like, that self-love? Because once you have that, you feel me, mm -hmm. it's like, you already know you, you great. Like, you, you right there was affirming that you are a legend. That right there, you, you just said it right there. You oh, said everything, you know, positive affirmations, manifesting what you want to be even if you aren't there at that moment mm -hmm. is so important you know like I, I'm not all I'm not as always you know I'm not always this confident mm -hmm. um I just recorded two tracks I didn't like them I played them to everybody they loved them I'm not always as confident mm -hmm. you know but like I manifest these things I tell myself every day even if I tell myself silently you know I love myself you're talented you're a conqueror you're a legend, you're a phenomenal performer, and these are the things I actually tell myself every day, just mm -hmm. so like I can know it. All the time before shows, like, you have to tell yourself that, even if you don't see it, you know, you have to take the time and like try to visualize that, um, that goal, that vision, you know, manifestation and positive affirmations are, are so real. So when people tell you that like the energy you put out into the world is the energy you receive, like it's, it's so real. Yo. It's, it's yo, real. that's true. <laughs> like, oh that's my real, God, that yo. is true. That's so real. That's yo. hella true. It's wow, real. it is real. Yeah. Dang, that actually got me into like. That's true. Love that's yourself, true. Thank man. you. Thank you. That is very true. Love yourself. Man. Word. You you got to. Even if you way. don't feel like it, like love yourself. Word. You know, it's a journey for all of us. It's a journey for me still. I'm not completely there with self love, but I tell myself every day, like I'm on this journey with everybody else, man. Tell yourself. Word. Real talk. That's what's up. Got any projects coming up? Yo, word. Yeah, that shit got me in the like. I'm inspired. working on two projects. Mm -hmm. I'm releasing my EP before I release my actual project. Um, I just laid some things down the last couple of days for my EP or whatever. Um, I'm gonna pick out a few tracks after that. Uh, after my EP comes my more intimate project that really gets into like my life, where I'm from, the things I've been through, how I got through those things, and mm -hmm. so on and so on. So um, that'll be coming out pretty soon. Um, I have a deadline for my EP, so that that that's coming soon. I'm not gonna give the exact date, but that's coming soon. You got a name? Um, no, not scoop. for this one. Give me the I, I got a, I got, <laughs> I got a name for my official project, and that's free. Okay. Yeah, 
That's free. How about but that? My EP. Um, now nah, I don't know what I'm gonna call that yet. The EP. Okay. So who are some of your like musical influences? Um, Andy Ree would be my biggest influence. Um, after that, I would say J. Cole, Kendrick, Trap Call Quest, I really love Q Tip, uh, KRS One, um, Native Tongues, uh, Logic, just to like name the people that are sitting on my head. Uh, my girl, a lot of the people in the underground that like, I know of, uh, <laughs> Cliche, um, Truth City, a lot of people, man, like, it, it, it goes on. Like, I, I, I'm influenced by life. Right. Whoever's is real about like their message. Mm-hmm. All right, so describe your, I said, I guess your style of music in like five different words. Like, uh, yeah, gritty, sensitive, real, mm-hmm. um, raw. And then you know what's crazy, like Ebony, she was like, you know frequency. I'm like, nah, but I see him. Yo, like, him. Like, like I see him. Yeah, yo, shout out to you, Ev. You know we love right, you, girl. Uh, turn pain into purpose. Like. Turn pain into motherfucking purpose. That was basically my message. Like, like, shout out to Ebony. Like. <laughs> shout out to you. She was like, you know frequency. Y'all get a little good. I said, for real. <laughs> she looked a little mean. I don't know, but she looked like she oh, cool God. though. She looked like she cool though. Nah, just cause like when you perform, like I said, yeah. you just be so aggressive and just standing your ground and like really letting people know like yeah this is me i'm here y'all gonna remember me you feel me word